Hi, I am now going to demonstrate how I approach painting my horses. I am at my house of state and I just want to show you what I have laid out on my kitchen table as I sit down on Sunday to figure out what I want to do. Okay, um, here's a drawing that I've been working on uh, with a horse from a photograph my husband took at Saratoga this summer. And I've been working on getting that drawing absolutely right. Um, I basically look at it and draw it, you know, grid lines, all that sort of thing. Um, projections and transfers just aren't effective. Uh, you really need to look at the drawing and you really need to get it perfect. And you cannot short, you know, you have to rework and erase. And I found a really great ground, which is the Fine Touch Gessoed Artist panel that I get at Crafts. I won't tell you where I get it because everybody will want to steal it, but no, not true. Um, crafts, etc. dot com, and these are the greatest. They're inexpensive, and they're easy to erase, and I love them. And I did a really, really tight drawing on it, and I can paint over, it and it saves a lot of time. Here's a watercolor I did from another photo because I'm going to be doing watercolor this week. Um, it's a good um, medium for, I don't know, if you don't want to do oils. Okay, let me show you some old paintings. I'm going to now show you some of my older paintings. This is Seattle Slope. It's an ancient painting when he was very old. And it's on my website too, so it's no big deal. Here is a cow skull. That's, I also have that on my um, Google Picasso, but it's pretty good. Here's my Christmas tree, and here is Northern Dancer. This is old. It's really nice painting. Oh, gosh. Here is Whirl Away, another really nice horse. Here's a watercolor I did that came out really well, and I really worked hard on the drawing. It's kind of dark in here. I should put a light on. Hold on. 